This segment brought to you by Kansas Farm Bureau, the voice of agriculture. To join today or more information, go to kfb.org or find us on Facebook and Twitter. We're back. I mean, the hat reminds me of the Nat King Cole song, Lazy, Hazy Days, Hazy Crazy Days of Summer. Something always reminds you of a song, doesn't it? Yes, it does, you know, but I mean, it looks very summery. Thank you. It does look very summery. Yes. I love hats. Mm -hmm. I really do. And I was probably born in the wrong era. You know, hats just aren't as big a deal as they used to be, but they're still um, a fashion statement, and they protect us from the hot sun, Mm -hmm. and and, um, uh, they serve all kinds of cool purposes, advertising and everything else. You know, everybody that wants to advertise buys a cap, doesn't they? Don't they? And put their logo on it and all that cool stuff. So Mm -hmm. when did you start wearing hats? Um, I don't know. It's been a few years now. I think what it was, I mean, there really is hair under here, folks, but the thing is not much. But I think that was part of it because I had heard that in the wintertime, you know, that you lost a lot of the heat out of the top of your uh, head. Yeah. So I started wearing a hat. Well, the thing is, then it's just like, well, that I like this hat, too, and, and that one, and that one, and that one. And pretty soon, I had this incredible collection of hats. Do you remember when you were a kid, though, everybody wore hats? Mm-hmm. Ladies and gentlemen, you know, and Sunday especially. Oh, yeah. You but, know, all the men well, wore fedoras. Yeah. Yeah. And my grandfathers wore a hat all day, every day. Yeah. You know, they took it off when they came in the house. But, but do you know when that ended? No. When John Kennedy became president, he didn't wear a hat. <sighs> it, 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 true. It killed the hat industry. I didn't know that. And of yes. course, Harry Truman was a big hat guy, mm-hmm. you know. And, but John oh Kennedy goodness. did not wear a hat. And that was like the whole new young generation and everything. But Kenneth, but Jackie Kennedy made the pillbox mm-hmm. hat. And, and, and more. At, yeah. yeah. But John Kennedy, I did not realize mm-hmm. that. Even mm-hmm. Ike wore a, a hat for his inaugural, even though he mm-hmm. didn't wear, wow. Mm-hmm. You'd learn something every day. Yeah. Let's take a look at hats. <laughs> Easter is the unofficial beginning of spring, the signal of renewal and rebirth, the official okay to begin wearing white shoes and slacks. Traditionally, Easter has also been marked by the donning of a new outfit, or at least a new hat. References to new hats, or at least newly refurbished hats for spring, go back for centuries. Hats may not be the fashion staple they were, but they remain an important part of not only our wardrobe, but our status, and a real clue to where we're from. Lots of cowboy hats, for example, in the Dallas-Fort Worth airport. Not so many at JFK in New York. From hard hats to army caps, they announce how we make a living. Hats reveal who we cheer for and which seeds we plant. Hats have helped define some of our most iconic images over the years. Davy Crockett in the coonskin cap, Napoleon in his bicorn, Queen Elizabeth in her color-coordinated, floral-adorned, somewhat sensible headpieces, Jackie Kennedy's iconic pillbox, Carmen Miranda's fruit baskets turned hats, Lincoln's stovepipe, the cat in the hat, John Wayne's ever-present Stetson. Audrey Hepburn's elaborate and large swooping hat from My Fair Lady, the Samurai's Kabuto, the Vaquero's Sombrero, the Viking's Horned Helmet, the Wicked Witch's Pointy Headgear, Odd Job's Deadly Bowler from James Bond's Goldfinger, Sherlock Holmes' Familiar Deerstalker, the all-powerful sorting hat that decided to place Harry Potter in Gryffindor Hall rather than Slytherin, and the list goes on and on. The right hat makes or breaks an outfit, changes the mood, commands respect, or invites laughter. While the milliner's job may not feature as much custom work as once upon a time, the variety of hats that hit the market for spring and summer are endless. The prices are just as infinite, and their ability to transform the mundane into the magnificent as strong as ever. A tip of the hat, I'm Frank. I'm Deb. And we'll see you somewhere around around Kansas. Kansas. Welcome to Kansas. Closed captioning brought to you by Ag Promo Source. Together we grow. 
Learn more at agpromosource.com. And churn homemade ice cream. Let me tell you, Kansas is more than tornadoes. We're the best part of Dorothy's dream. We're the best part of Dorothy's dream.